Hey, hey, we're back on the grind. Today we're gonna to be talking about scale. If you work in the construction industry, you're gonna learn how to read scale. If not, then you are gonna, uh, you're always gonna be the low man on the totem pole being told what to do. So it is imperative that you learn how to read scale if you wanna move up. Okay, so let's talk about what scale is. Scale is the ratio between the size of a drawing of an object and the actual size in real life. Okay, so it is usually wrote in ratios. Those ratios are usually like a quarter of an inch equals a foot, or an eighth of an inch equals a foot, or three thirty seconds of an inch equals a foot. In this scenario, we're going to use a quarter of an inch equals a foot. So that quarter inch is the blueprints measurement, and that one foot is the actual measurement. So this is the drawing measurement, and that's going to be the measurement on in real life. All right, so let's look at a set of blueprints here. Yes, these are my blueprints I'm drawing. I'm probably one of the worst drawers of all time, and if I was an architect, I'd be going hungry. But here is, a, is just a simple, like a floor plan. Um, I got my key over here, receptacle, there's a shower and a door. Um, and the reason why I have all of these is because all trades use scale. A, recept a electrician's gonna need to know where a receptacle lands on a wall. A plumber's gonna need to know where to land his pipes for a shower. Um, and a carpenter's gonna need to know where to frame the opening for the door, okay? The next thing you need to know is what the actual scale is. In this scenario, we're gonna go a quarter inch equals a foot, okay? So if I was a carpenter and I wanted to figure out where this door landed, I would take my ruler, I would measure from the corner of the building right here, and you probably can't see this, but that measurement is five and a quarter right there, okay? So in, on paper, that measurement's five and a quarter, but how far is it over in actual real life? So um, I'm gonna write my measurement right here. So it's five and a quarter inches. What is that in feet? Well, we know a quarter of an inch equals a foot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my denominator of uh, my measurement, which is four, and I'm gonna multiply it by my whole number here. So my whole inch. So five times four equals 20. Okay, that's 20 feet. Um, and then we know a quarter of an inch equals a foot. So a quarter of an inch equals one foot. And then you just add those up right there. Okay, and that gives you 21, that gives you 21 feet. So right here, I would write 21 feet. So um, on paper, the, it's five and a quarter. In real life, the carpenter would frame that door opening 21 feet from the corner of the building. Okay, so that's one example. That's a pretty simple example here. Let's say I'm gonna move on to uh, an electrician. All right, trade, uh, changing up trades here. I need to know where this uh, receptacle falls. Let's say uh, on the measurement is two and three quarters. Okay, um, to figure that out, I do the same as last thing. I'm gonna write two and three quarters of an inch. What is that in feet? I take three quarters, I mean I take my two, my whole number, and I multiply it by my denominator. Two times four equals eight feet. Then I'm gonna take my, uh, my increments, which is three quarters. We know that one quarter equals one foot, therefore three quarters, I'm gonna use my numerator up here, would equal three foot, I add those up, 11 feet. Here's my measurement. So that Electrician would come off that wall 11 feet, and that's where that receptacle would land. Okay, let's say hypothetically we got an odd measurement. Let's say we got a measurement that doesn't exactly line up. Let's change this to 2 and 7 eighths. Okay, we would start out the same as we did before 2 and 7 eighths of an inch equals blank feet. Okay. We'll start out with the whole number, two times four. We just did this, we know is eight feet. Now, let's go to our increments, okay? We're trying to convert seven eighths into scale, okay? We got a quarter of an inch equals a foot. Um, so there's a couple different ways you can do this. This is the easiest way that I have found for my brain. Everybody's brain works a little bit differently, but this is the easiest way for me. Um, what I do is I find the nearest quarter inch, okay? And the nearest quarter inch to seven eighths is three quarters, okay? So we know that three quarters in scale is gonna be three feet because a quarter of an inch equals a foot. So we got three feet, okay? We still have an eighth of an inch left over, okay? So the easiest way to convert an eighth of an inch into that ratio is multiply, an, I mean divide an eighth of an inch 
um, by one fourth. Okay. Now, um, on division, you got to do a little keep change flip here. So that is the same as one eighth. We're going to change the division to multiplication, and we're going to flip this one here, four over one. So that is pretty much going to give us four over eight, which is the same as one half. So. I'm going to combine my three feet and my half, which is pretty much a half foot, okay? So three plus one half equals three and a half feet, okay? So I would add that up right here, okay? Um, and our answer for this would be 11 and a half feet, okay? Or you wouldn't say, hey, it's 11 and a half. You could say it's 11 and a half. But um, 11 and a half feet is the same as 11 feet, six inches. Um, but the other way is to take seven eighths and divide it by one quarter like we did earlier. Okay, um, same thing, keep the first one, change it to multiplication, and then flip the second fraction, and that's gonna give us 28 over eight. So that is pretty much 28 divided by eight, which looks just like this, okay? We know that eight can go into 28 three times. Three times eight is 24. So that gives us three remainder four, okay? Which is the same as three and four eighths or three and a half, okay? So we have the same, um, the same thing. Okay, so there's a few different ways to figure that one out.